Hey guys, ever forgotten your Samsung phone's pin or pattern and ended up completely locked out? Or maybe you bought a second-hand Galaxy and it's FRP locked. Don't worry. Today I'll walk you through how to remove Samsung screen locks and bypass FRP fast and easy. This video is sponsored by PassFab. This two-in-one tool removes screen locks and bypasses FRP on Samsung devices without needing passwords or tech skills. Let's jump right into the steps. You'll be unlocked in under five minutes. First off, grab PassFab Android Unlock from their official website. PassFab.com. Right now, it only works on Windows, but don't worry, a Mac version is coming soon. Once you got it, go ahead and install it. Installation is pretty simple. Keep pressing next and you're done. Once installed, open PassFab Android Unlock tool. Right away, you'll see two big options. Remove screen lock and bypass FRP. I'll start with remove screen lock since that's the first thing we need to clear. Now, if you're using an older Galaxy model, PassFab can remove your pattern, pin, fingerprint or password without wiping any data. But in this demo, we'll go with the full unlock method, which clears all device data. Next, connect your Samsung Galaxy to your PC using a USB cable. Once it's connected, click on the start button. The tool will now check some information from the server. So just wait a few seconds while it does that. After that, it will show you clear on-screen instructions to boot your phone into recovery mode. Let's do that together. First, try powering off the device. But if your phone asks for a password before turning off, don't worry. Here's the trick. Press and hold the volume up and volume down buttons at the same time until the screen goes completely black. As soon as it turns off, Quickly press and hold volume up plus power. Make sure your phone stays connected to the PC during this step. And yes, now the phone has booted into recovery mode. From here, use the volume buttons to scroll down and select factory reset or wipe data. Once you've selected it, go ahead and confirm using the power button. This will completely erase everything on your device. So just keep that in mind before you proceed. Once the reset is done, the phone might get stuck on the FRP lock screen. That's the Google account verification screen. But don't worry, PassFab has us covered for that too. Now the phone is restarting and after a few seconds, it'll take us straight to the setup screen, just like when you first got your device. And yes, here we are on the setup screen. It looks like everything went smoothly and we didn't get stuck on the FRP lock. But if you do get stuck on that FRP verification page, don't panic. PassFab can handle that too. All you need to do is go back to the main screen of the PassFab tool on your PC and this time select bypass FRP. From the options, pick the one that best fits your phone. Make sure the phone is connected to the PC, then click start button and let the software try to remove the FRP lock. Now just sit back and wait, the tool will run through the steps automatically. In my case, the device wasn't stuck on FRP, so the bypass step failed because there was nothing to bypass. And that's it, your phone is now fully set up and ready to use. If you're tired of being locked out, give PassFab Android Unlock a go. It handles FRP and passwords and you can save 20% with PF Summer 20 coupon code. If this video helped you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps me motivated to make more such guides for you. Also, if you got stuck anywhere or faced any issue, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.